My name is Lucien Polstowait and I'm a principal dancer with the Pacific Northwest Ballet. I didn't grow up in like a culture of ballet and I didn't know that it was something that I could do for a living, I didn't know it was an art form, I just knew that it was something that I loved to do. It wasn't until I was 13 that I went to the School of American Ballet for the first time for the summer and my eyes were blown wide open. <laughs> In class, I love working on my technique, that constant reevaluation and striving for perfection. My least favorite moments in class are uh, when things aren't working uh, and you just get frustrated and down on yourself. Um, but I try not to take it too seriously. There are a lot worse things in the world to be getting down so, so, so hard on yourself if you're falling out of a pirouette. So I try and keep that in perspective. My very first performance at PNB, I was a gorilla <laughs> running across stage like this. So <laughs> that was pretty memorable. My parents came up to see the show. <laughs> all those years of training, they were like, we paid for all these years of school for you to be a gorilla. For me, a big point in my career uh, was Prodigal Son. Um, I had just gotten into the company, it was my first year, and casting went up, and I was third cast, which for me, was huge and I thought there's no way that I was going to perform it but it was a chance to learn it and to start wrapping my mind around it. A couple days before the show, the second cast went out so that was my chance to step in. It was like a fairy tale for me, it's like how careers are made. I do want to talk a little bit about Romeo and Juliet. It's not an obvious connection with Prodigal Son but for me it was a similar jump in my career when I really made a realization about who I was as a person, as a dancer, as an actor, and how much I love, love being vulnerable on stage in front of 3,000 people. I just come off stage feeling so exhilarated, so good, I feel free.